Oh, hello everyone. I am here with a, what I think is a really fun and exciting video, and that is my summer TBR. Now, I decided basically end of June that I was not dealing with doing a July TBR or even an August TBR. I just wanted to do like one video, you know, especially for YouTube. Um, I'll put a shorter version on like TikTok and Instagram showing all of the books that I pulled. And look, there's a big stack of them. Um, all of the books that I plan to read slash listen to um, this summer. This year for reading has personally been all over the place for me, but also I have had a few, you know, life changes recently. So I've been navigating this next chapter of my life. So it's okay if I'm a little behind on my reading goal and I'm not as organized as I used to be. I am still very, very excited about all the books um, that I'm gonna talk about today. Also, I'm not gonna sit here and, you know, go through what each book is about, you know, very much because some books I actually really don't know that much about. Um, I mean, come on, this is me we're talking about. But regardless, I'm really excited to talk to you about all of these books that I have planned um, that I wanna read um, for the summer. So that is enough for this intro. Let's just get right on in to my large and in charge um, summer TBR. All right, I have a lot of books. Um, hopefully I can get through them quickly. We're gonna go stack by stack here. I have one, two, three, four stack. Okay, so this first stack right here, um, the book right on top, I am very, very excited for. And the publisher, I actually was sent an ARC copy of this book, never read it. Um, and then the publisher also sent me a finished copy. Um, but this book is getting a lot of buzz right now. I know so many friends of mine are obsessed with it and they ARC read it and they loved it or they were just excited for this release in general. And that is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. This book, I believe, is, I don't know if they're exes, um, but I believe the main guy is a florist and the main girl is a wedding planner. I don't know if it's like enemies to lovers and they have to fake date. I think that that is what's happening, um, but I'm hopeful that this is maybe um, an audiobook that I can, you know, put on hold with the library and then in however many weeks um, I'll be able to listen to it because like I said I've heard nothing but really really good things and I feel like this book is gonna really have its moment because um, it already is like right now at the time that I'm filming this video. Um, so I am very excited to check this one out. And then a book that I have no idea what this is about, didn't even read the back, um, but I do have this special edition of it. And this is an author that I do want to finally start reading from. And that is Moments in Time by K.K. Allen. This is a gorgeous edition from the last chapter bookshop. I got this for like dirt cheap and it is absolutely stunning. Um, all I know is that K.K. Allen is a small town romance author. And what is this book? Oh, okay. I think this book is a second chance romance because the back says seven years ago, he was my everything, my confidant, my safe haven, my best friend. However, dating was never an option. Not when his eyes gravitated towards every girl in town, but me. Okay. So it sounds like drama, scandal. What happened? What tore them apart? Um, I'm excited to go into this book blind. That's all I got on it, um, so we will see uh, how this goes. I actually have this series from my girl, Morgan Elizabeth. Um, she actually sent me these books because she's the best. This is her, I believe it's called, yeah, Spring Book Hills series. Um, so the books in this series are as follows. There's The Distraction, um, The Protector, The Substitution, and then, ooh, the connection, what fell out? Oh, a bookmark fell out of that book. I love Morgan so much. I'm really trying to make my way through her backlist. I have heard from so many people that they love this series as well. This is, um, I don't know if I mentioned her first series um, that she ever came out with. They have these new cute cartoon covers that match the rest of her books. But my goal for the summer is definitely to at least start um, this series. And like I said, work my way through more of Morgan's backlist. Okay, moving right along. Beep, beep, next stack. First up, this is another book that I have a special edition of and that is called um, Blame It on the Champagne by Fiona, by Fiona Cole. Um, I've heard nothing um, but great things about Fiona's books. Um, I've heard from a lot of people that I'm gonna like her books as well. I know that she has more like like very spicy, um, let's say more schminky dinky um, books in her backlist, I believe. But then also this series um, that starts like all the titles have like Blame It on something, I think are a little bit more fun, but still spicy. Um, this one, Blame It on the Champagne. I do not know what this is about, but I think this has to do with someone 
getting married in Vegas? Yeah, it says there's only one thing to do when you wake up married to your brand new boss whom you hate but can't resist. You blame it on the champagne. This sounds right up my alley. Um, this also isn't the only book that I'm going to talk about that has to do with like getting married. Um, you know, I think in Vegas or whatever. Um, but I am very, very excited for this. And again, Fiona is an author who has been on my radar for a while. So I'm very excited um, to get into her books. I've talked about actually this duet before on my page when I put it in a book haul, but that is the Fisherman Duet by Julie Ann. This is setting itself up for success with me because it is small time romance, age gap, forbidden, I believe they're neighbors, and the girl is also like very inexperienced and you know, naive. Maybe I don't want to say naive, but like she grew up very religious. Um, so I am very excited to see how all of that plays out in this um, duet. Um, again, I know so many friends who are obsessed with it. Julianne is another author who has been on my radar for a minute and it is totally my goal to start reading her work this year. It smells smells like a winner to me. I really hope I love this duet. The next book was so kindly sent to me um, by the author. So I actually have the Kindle version and this beautiful special edition version of Swallow Your Pride by Sarah Blue. Sarah Blue is a spicy romance author. She also has her book Charming Your Dad, which I hear is fantastic and I'm really gonna love. Like it's literally an ex-boyfriend's dad book. So, <laughs> and this one is actually a deceased father's best friend but he's also her boss doesn't that sound incredible um so this is just a spicy forbidden age gap romance i hope it gives me everything that i wanted to give which is just a spicy good time if you don't know i literally am obsessed with spicy forbidden age gap romance it is my genre, so hopefully this one doesn't disappoint. Then this is the first book actually in a series that I started. Um, and normally I don't read books, even in a, even in series of connected standalones out of order, but I did make the exception with this series. And this book is Fair Catch by Candy Steiner. So I read Blindside by Candy. I loved it. I gave it five stars. This is the first book in that series. I can't remember what it is. Oh, it's the Red Zone Rival series. Um, this one has to do with, I believe, I don't know if it's like friends to lovers, but this one has to do with a girl who actually ends up joining the male, you know, football team at college. And I know that the main guy gets like really protective over her. And I think they end up as roommates or something, which just sounds really great. I have the audiobook for this. So I am very ready to get back into this um, football world from Candy. Next up, we have two books that have been on my TBR for like two years because I do think I bought these paperbacks um, like two years ago. These are also books that I definitely will be listening to on audio, um, but the paperbacks were just so stunning. And that is After I Do and One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I know for sure One True Loves is the book about the girl where she, I believe her ex, I don't know if it was boyfriend or husband, just um, a previous relationship of her. I believe that that man passed away. So then she moves on and is with another guy. And then one day she gets a phone call from the guy who is supposed to be, you know, and so she's like, what do I do? They're both alive. Who do I end up with? So it's that kind of situation. The premise sounds really interesting. And obviously it's TJR, so it's going to pull at your heartstrings. After I do, um, I remember I knew what this book was about at some point, but I think reading the back, it has to do with is it like a marriage in trouble? I actually hope this is a book about uh, marriage in trouble because I love books about marriage in trouble. I love any books that have to do with weddings, whether it's a marriage of convenience, a surprise marriage, marriage in trouble. I just really, I love it. I just find themes of marriage to be so, so interesting personally for me to read about. Cover is to die for. It's stunning. Um, so we will see what this is about. This book I have because the author so kindly sent it to me and this is Sweet Addiction by Jay Daniels. Jay Daniels actually had a whole bunch of her audiobooks on sale in the most recent Audible sale. So I did not only snatch up all three books in this um, Sweet Addiction series, I also got all of the books in her, I believe it's called the Alabama Summer Series, which is a small town romance series. They were all like $1.99. So of course, again, I had to do just like a massive sweep of them. This book, I don't really know what it's about, aside from the fact that I think the girl is a baker. 
And that's it. I know this book is like on the older side and a lot of people really love it. And you know, I think it's some it's a book that I think got some people like into romance books, or it's just like a more like nostalgic favorite for them. But I'm very excited to check it out for myself. And also I love the cover. Oh, the pink and white like aesthetic of this little um, trio of books um, by Jay Daniels are just everything to me. They really speak to me. Um, so we will see how this book goes. And let's take it back to Morgan Elizabeth. I do have her newest release um, that was sent to me, which is Cruel Summer. This is Gabby's book, I believe. Oh no, I'm a liar. Cammy, it's Cammy. Her name is Cammy. So this is Cammy's book, and Cammy is seen in Tis the Season for Revenge, which is my favorite Mor Morgan Elizabeth book. It's one of my favorite books of all time. That book was Legally Blonde inspired. This book is Mean Girls inspired. And I remember I actually hosted a live with her on my TikTok when um, the playlist came out and she was talking about how she had this book coming. And I was like, Morgan, sign me up. This book couldn't be any more my taste being inspired by one of my favorite movies yet again. Mean Girls is another favorite movie of mine. Um, this is also, it's Enemy's Dad. So it's Age Gap. And to get revenge on, you know, a girl who's horrible to her, she's like, oh, I'm just going to date your dad. Morgan. 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 Stop writing books after my own heart. That sounds like everything I need it to be. I know this is going to be spicy. I know it's going to be funny. I know it's going to be fun. And I am so ready to get into this. This is very high priority on my TBR. So once I have free time, with some arcs that I need to read first in July, I will definitely be getting to this as soon as I can. I am, ooh, I, my body is ready. My body is ready for this one. And the cover, precious. Another book that was sent to me by the author, actually Stephanie Archer was so kind and sent me this whole series of books um, that she has. I, what is it, like the Finn Brothers or something? Well, each each book has to do with a brother. And this is the second book. This is The Wrong Mr. Right. I did read that kind of guy. Well, actually I listened to it on audio and I loved it. This is a small town romance series. The books are sweet and spicy. I know so many people now are picking up this series and I feel like, again, everyone is much faster than me. I'm slow and I know so many girls and mutual friends of mine who have already binged the whole series. It's four books. Um, I believe they all have adorable covers. This one is obviously about um, a surfer. So I mean, come on, the summer vibes. Like, how could this not be on your summer TBR? Like, look, literally look at the cover. I think the main guy teaches the girl how to be better with men. Is that what it is? I think that's the point of this book. It's kind of like dating lessons. I mean, that is really cute. It kind of sounds like a like 2000s rom-com setup or something. And I think this is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. So again, this is one of those that's also very, very high priority on my TBR for the summer. This one I'm very confident is going to be a five star. This is In a Jam by Kate Canterbury. Can Can Canterbury. This is an age gap, marriage of convenience, marriage of convenience um i don't believe he's a single dad i think he's just a guardian to a girl i think that's what it is if not he's a single dad but you know obviously you could look at that as like a single dad situation i do believe the main guy does have a child that he's raising and the main girl has to go back to this town because her family actually owns a tulip farm i also am obsessed with marriage of conveniences and you know single dads small towns so this is really just again setting itself setting itself up for success with me next up the only book that i have an arc physical copy of that i can show you um that is on my summer tbr and that is wildfire by hannah grace um this book is on my summer tbr because they work at a summer camp so hello, why wouldn't I want to put it on my summer TBR? Like this book screams summer. I will say it's obviously not the highest on the priority because it does come out in October. So I'll probably read this more towards the end of summer. But again, I am so ready to get into this because I loved Icebreaker by Hannah Grace so much. I got this arc gifted to me um, at Book Bonanza. I love Atria Publishing. I know people who work there. They are fantastic. They handed me this arc and I'm just obsessed. Look at the cover. 
it's so cute. These characters were an icebreaker. Um, so I just think that that setup sounds so fun. I can't think of the last book that I read that took place at a summer camp. So I think that's a really unique premise and setting for a romance book. I'm sure the spice is going to be great. I'm sure the banter is going to be fun. And I just think this is going to be an absolute win. Okay guys, we are here. It's the last stack. We're almost done. I have another book that I've talked about in previous TBR videos, so I won't talk about it for long here. That is The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. I was very excited to see that this audiobook is available on the app Scribd, which is incredible. Um, I love Nikki's books on audio. This is book four in her Nashville Neighborhood series. I love this series. This one has to do with two people who are kicked out of their fraternities um, after like an incident um, I don't know what the incident was. And then they actually end up having to do like an adult film together, like adult film work together. Um, I think they also may be roommates as well. So you get forced proximity, which is just fantastic. Just think this is going to be a spicy, fun, good time. So I am very, very ready for this. I haven't picked up a Nikki Sloan book in a minute. So I'm very excited to get back into her work. Then a book that I know is just going to be so fun and funny and this copy was so kindly gifted to me by Trulina Pucci. We have Not So Lucky which is again Trulina Pucci's newest release. This is about a girl who gets married in Vegas. It's another book on my high priority TBR as this is a fresh new release and I don't want to fall behind because I love Trulina so much. I met her at um book bonanza briefly but she is so funny and I just adore her adore her I just know this is gonna bring the heat and the laughs so for that reason I am ready also I think the like Vegas vibes and everything also just screams summer and fun this seems like a great book to read like when you're lounging like by the pool or something a good like vacation book again because it's such a quick read um so yeah that's not so lucky i've also i think talked about this book in tbr videos um but this is the summer we fell by elizabeth o'rourke this was actually gifted to me from a pr company i go back and forth with this book all the time with wanting to pick up the audiobook for it because i heard the audiobook is fantastic or if i just read my physical copy or read it on my Kindle because it is on Kindle Unlimited because it is such a short read. I'm like, do I need to spend the money on the audiobook? Do I need to do it? I don't know. This is a very angsty romance between a girl and a guy and I know it takes place in the present and in the past. I've heard mostly glowing reviews for this book. Again, I know if you love angst, you're going to eat this book up if you like that forbidden element of it. Another book, obviously that has to go on my summer TBR. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Hello. This is Baby Moon or Bust by Ava Hunter. Ava Hunter is so lovely. She's so nice. And I am so excited to finally get into her books. This book was actually so kindly gifted to me as a birthday present from one of my friends. And this book, you would never guess, is about a, a pregnancy. I believe the two of them hook up on vacation. Hence, you know, the background. I just think like the blue cover on this book, I'll never get over. And also the character art is done by my favorite um, character artist. Um, she also did like the characters on Icebreaker and Wildfire. I am personally a pregnancy romance person. I love surprise pregnancy, secret baby, etc, etc. I like when the main guy is a father and then he gets like protective over her when she's pregnant and then when he becomes a dad. I mean, I love single dads. I just like babies and books. I like the way babies bring couples together. But one more book that I have talked about in previous TBR videos that I'm gonna put again here one more time. I do have the audiobook for this book, I believe, and this is a special edition that I had to get because it is stunning. And that is Help Me Help Me Remember by Corinne Michaels. I recently listened to my first Corinne Michaels book, um, Forbidden Hearts, which I absolutely loved, by the way. And this is the first book in a trilogy that she has. This book has to do with the character who I believe has amnesia. And I think it's one of those situations where she thinks her husband is gone, but then maybe he comes back, but then she also falls for someone else. I think that is the setup here. I'm just excited to read more from Kurt Michaels this summer because I really enjoyed the first book um, that I read from her and I know so many people love her small town romances so I'm just excited to check out more from her in the future. Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singleton. I have put this on so many TBR videos. I am so sorry. I would like to personally apologize to Kat Singleton. I meant to read this book when it came out and then I got distracted. This is a forbidden brother's best friend. Um, kind of? not. I don't know if it's really second chance but the girl is back in town. Um, after something happens and again the guy is 
I don't know if it's her brother's best friend or her best friend's brother. And I just know this is like steamy, emotional. I think it's cowboy vibes as well, which is just right up my alley. So I promise I'm going to get to my two Cat Singleton books as soon as I can. I swear. I, Scout, I promise I'm going to do it. The lighting is doing its thing as I am just about to wrap up this video. But finally, we're ending with another small town romance. This is a special edition version. This is The Calamity by Jennifer Milliken. M-I-L-L-I-K-I-N. Milliken, I think. This is the first book in a series that follows siblings and they all have a family ranch. And I mean the vibes are there. Jennifer is a small time romance author that I personally haven't seen a single person talk about. And one thing about me is I live off of reading, you know, cowboy-ish romances, small town romances that maybe people haven't read yet. Um, I know there are audiobooks out for this series as well. Also should be on KU, but again, I have this really pretty um, special edition of it. Um, I love the little horseshoe on it. I'm so sorry I don't know anything about this, okay? You can, you can look it up for yourself. Okay, that was it guys. That was every single book that I have on my summer TBR. Like I said, this is for the whole summer. So between July, August, September, these are the books that will be on my radar to read slash listen to. I am so excited. I think I have a really um, strong TBR here and I'm gonna discover a lot of new favorites and hopefully some new favorite authors. And I just think it's going to be a really fun um, summer reading. What's on your summer TBR? I would love to know if you've read any of these books and you think I'm going to like them. Please let me know down below as well. If you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Even share it. It means the absolute world to me. And all of my social medias are also linked down below as well. My TikTok, um, Instagram, um, Goodreads. Okay, and I think that is all for today's video. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye!